Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com, the leaders in high-speed cloud reseller hosting. If you joined us on our blog yesterday or on our YouTube channel, you know we talked about how to resell domains with Reseller Club and WHMCS. So those familiar with our hosting here at NameHero, our corporate hero package comes with a free WHMS MCS license. And this is a $15.95 a month value um, that you're basically getting for free with the corporate heroes. So you're not only getting your reseller account, you're also getting WHMCS. The powerful, one of the most powerful things about WHMCS is it allows your customers to sign up through your website, completely white labeled, where they can register domains and also sign up for hosting. So they can do all of it. It's automated, white labeled to you. So if you've ever wanted to be your own domain registrar, like GoDaddy or like Name Hero or like Namecheap or, or whoever else out there, um, you have the ability to do this. And if you missed that video, I've got the guide on the blog now. Just simply type in how to resell domains with Reseller Club and WHMCS. CS. You can put this in Google or you can type it in over here and this guide will come up. It's very lengthy, uh, but it goes through step by step how you go about signing up for your corporate hero account at Name Hero, um, how do you install WHMCS, um, and then how do you get your um, reseller club domain reseller account, and how you integrate it. So I got, I've got everything covered. But there's one thing I did not cover in the video, and it was one of the first questions that I was asked on YouTube, and it was, how do I resell ID protection for my domains? And that's a very good question, and I purposely left it out of this guide because this guide was more about getting it configured, and this is an additional thing, so I wanted to cover it separately. So first, let's talk about what ID protection is. If you go over here to our domain registration page at Name Hero, and if you go to register a domain, if you find that one is taken, you're going to notice a link to the Whois database. So for example, if we just type in Name Hero in here, let it come up, you can see it's taken, so it shows the Whois link. So if we click that, we have a database that shows the domain is taken and it shows when it was registered, um, when it expires, and just some details about it. Now our Whois database is not showing all the info, so if we go over to Domain Tools and query their database, um, we can scroll down here and you can see more information about the owner. You can see our address, our um, phone number, contact email, so all of this is made public. Um, and that's a requirement to register in a domain is you have to have your information available in the Whois database. So ID protection basically allows your customers to register the domain and keep their private information private so it doesn't go public. And that's what ID protection provides because what happens is when you have your information out here is unfortunately since this database is public, a lot of spammers get access to it. And I know us here at Name Hero, we get tons of junk mail just because our address is listed in here. We also get tons of junk email because the email address is listed here. And believe it or not, we get a lot of crazy phone calls into our support team uh, trying to sell us everything from credit card processing to oh gosh there's crazy products out there that people try to sell so um, the main advantage to getting ID protection is it protects your personal information so at name hero when you go to register a domain and if there's one when there's the domains available and let's just do name hero 2018 I don't believe that's taken whoops 2018 you'll see that as we continue on with the domain registration that you have the ability to add the ID protection. So for example, right here, you can add ID protection for $2.98. Now this is done through our own company called Who Is Hero. So we actually developed our own ID protection product and you can see, here's what it looks like. If your um, domain information is not protected, it looks like this. Shows your company name, your name, your address, your phone number, and email. But if it's protected with our Who Is Hero prod product, um, it shows our address, our phone number, and it masks your email. But you can also still receive email from here because this email goes through a spam filter and then delivers to you. So basically, our Who Is Hero, it protects your personal information and it also keeps you from getting the spam emails um, from the public Who Is database. So it's a very, very popular product. I would say 9 out of 10 domains ordered at Name Hero, registered at Name Hero, they order ID protection. So if you're reselling domains through Reseller Club, then I highly recommend also offering ID protection. And I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up.
So what we want to do is we want to go back to our WHMCS backend. So yesterday's video, and if you haven't watched it, you can go through or you can go on the blog and find this article. And it taught us how, excuse me, I didn't have my phone on silent. And it taught us how to um, install WHMCS and get to the back end. So I'm going to log into the back end. And I want to go to where I set up my domain um, pricing. So I'm going to go to Setup, Products and Services, Domain Pricing. And we'll scroll down to the bottom here, and you can see domain add-ons, DNS management, email forwarding, and ID protection. So this is where you set the price of the ID protection product. And then up here, you can check mark which domains you want to offer the ID protection. Now I know there's some domains out there, and off the top of my head, I can't name the exact TLDs, that do not allow for ID protection. So you want to make sure you check with Reseller Club and, and understand which domains you can't. But I believe all the .com, net, org, biz, and info, they can have ID protection. So the first thing you want to do, if you want to offer it, you want to select the ID protection um, checkbox. So it will show up through the order process. So we'll save those changes. But then we have to give it a price because if we leave it at zero, then it makes it free. But we need to go over to Reseller Club to see how much it costs on their end um, so you're making a profit, right? So if you can't, you don't want to make it free if they're going to charge you. So all you do is log into your Reseller Club account to their interface. It takes a second to come up here. And we are going to go into where the domain pricing is, and that's where we'll find the pricing for the Who Is Protection. So if you click on step one, choose your products and pricing. I know they have several different links to this. And we scroll down to domain registration. And we look here, free services, email accounts, so you can offer a free email account. DNS management is free. Uh, domain forwarding is free. Mail forwarding is free. But privacy protection is a paid service. So if you want to offer these other services, such as DNS management, email forwarding, this doesn't cost you anything on your end. So if you want to charge a dollar, you'll just make a dollar. Or if you want to offer it for free, you can. So let's just say we wanted to offer this for $2.98. $2.98, we click save on those. And then we'd also add, tick them on here to say we're gonna allow that for these domains. Check, 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 and save. Okay, so let's go back to privacy. It, we have to click here to manage prices for the privacy protection. And here we see our cost is $3. So when our customers or your customers, when they register a domain, if they want to use the ID protection, your cost is $3. So you have to price it higher than that to make a, pro make a profit. So they recommend $360. So if we go back over to WHMCS, we could add this for say $360. And so each domain with privacy protection, you're going to make $0.60 cents profit. It's not a whole lot, but considering you're going to make profit on the domain, and then if these costs free, so then if you're able to get a couple of these, then your profit margin increases even more. But that's all you have to do is just add these boxes. And now when someone goes to your website, and we'll just go to ours, and they go to register a domain, to the CAPTCHA, it's now going to give me the option to add privacy protection. So just give it a second. Add to cart. Check out. And now you can see I've got these three boxes like we have here at Name Hero. So if I wanted to add DNS management, ID protection, email forwarding, they could set their name servers here, click continue, and they can now pay for their domain. So now once they pay, Name Hero 2018 or whatever the domain is, it's going to be registered inside of your Reseller Club account. It's going to have DNS management, email forwarding, and the ID protection. So your cost on all that stuff is free, free, $3. And then, of course, your cost on the domains, I think it's $9.48 or thereabouts. So um, your profit's going to be quite large. I mean, your profit's going to be close to $10, $11, um, which is really, really good per domain. Now, of course, if you want to lower your prices to make less margin, you can, but only you know your customers. Um, you know, you can, um, if your customers are willing to pay more for, for more of your service, then you can price it a little bit more competitive. Um, but it's really up to you. You know, I know GoDaddy, they've, over the years, they, they've added upsells to their domains, and that's one of the ways they've been able to really increase their profit margin is by upselling on just more than the, the domain. So I feel like ID protection, it's really, it's not only a great upsell um, to your customers, but it's a great product because as I said no one wants their 
public information out there. Um, you know, no one wants their, I use my parents as an example, you know, when they're registering domains for investments or whatnot, they don't want their home address shown in the, in the WHOIS database because it's public to everyone. All you have to do is go to domaintools.com, type in any domain, and it will come up. But if you're using the protection, it's masked with this information. And again, your email will still forward. So, for example, if someone wants to buy your domain from you, right, if you're investing in a domain investor, then you're still going to get the email because even though it's a jumbled address, it, we forward it to you. But before we forward it, we actually scan the email for spam to make sure it's not a, not a junk email. You know, you, if you look in your spam folder, you see the Viagra emails and all the crazy weight loss stuff. You know, we make sure that you're not getting spam. You only get legitimate emails. So that's um, a piece of technology that we have developed here at Name Hero with our Who Is Hero product. But a lot of that is just the same at Reseller Club. You know, they have their own Who Is Protection or ID Protection product, um, very similar to how we do it at Name Hero. I think all the domain reseller registrars, such as Enom, Reseller Club, I mean, it's all basically the same type of product as Who Is Hero. We just have our own here at Name Hero because I personally developed some of the um, spam filters and stuff, and we might offer ours to resell one day, but right now um, we do not. So that's how you do it through Reseller Club. Uh, again, nine out of 10 customers are to choose it. So even if you want to price your domains lower, so the cost for you is about $9.49 for a .com, maybe you'd want to price your domains at maybe $10.50 and then hope to make the extra margin on the ID protection because as I said, most customers at Name Hero, 9 out of 10, they order the ID protection because they do not want their public information out there. So let us know if you have any questions. That's all there is to setting it up is just entering it inside of WHMCS um, and saving it and just entering the price, ticking it by the domain, and saving it, then you will see it here on your checkout. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. But thanks so much for watching, and best of luck with your new reseller account.